It's gonna pop out. Oh, I almost got naked on camera. Wish me luck, bitch. Now, 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 heavy, now, heavy, now, heavy, now, everybody now, sing now, that shit. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Tay Pancakes, aka Taylor Stevens, aka Tay Honey. And welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, we're visited by our wig from our Amazon wig haul today. Yes, this is out and ready to work. She's ready to work. And look, I got some makeup on. My Fenty came in. So, to y'all who thought I was lying about me getting some Fenty in the mail, it came. Mind your business, it came. I just, it came a week ago, actually. I just, the makeup, me and the makeup don't be getting along all the time, so. It's been a minute, but we're doing a haul. We're doing a clothing haul. A haul for clothing. And it's from Misguided. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not a sponsored video, I just bought some clothes and we're gonna see how they turn out. They were having a huge sale and you know your girl had to hit it up. And some of y'all recommended I do it, so here we are. But before I start this, I had to make a note about the customer service that I received on this. So, my package, I paid extra money. Um, it wasn't super expensive. I paid $13 for expedited delivery because I wanted to get this video out quick. So the expedited delivery on the checkout, which is, I have a screenshot right here. It says that for US and Canada based express shipping, my stuff should be here in three to four business days. Is that express? Not so much, but with COVID and it's in the UK, I was like, okay, maybe it's gonna take a little extra time. Anyway, so, and they said standard shipping was like six to nine days. So I'm like, shoot, express me up. Cause even regular shipping was cost money. So, so I paid the extra and three days passed and I'm like, whoa, shorty, where my package at? And they was like, Oh, basically, I'm putting the messages on the screen. So to sum it up, I asked them where my package was because there was a problem with DHL. DHL was telling me my, message, my, my package was being hold, held. So I was like, I paid for expedited delivery, so where's my package? She proceeds, she or he proceeds to sit there and be like, um, well, for standard shipping, it takes about five to seven. I didn't order standard shipping, honey. I ordered expedited shipping. So what are we even talking about here? I don't give a crap with the freak standard shipping. That is below me, honey. That is a that is below me. I can't even say that's above me. I wasn't even, I paid that little extra coin. It wasn't that much extra, but honey, it was extra. So get my delivery. So I'm like, I need a refund. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I should be refunded at least for the delivery if it's not gonna be here at expedited time. She's like, if you read our policy, it says that it should be here in five to seven business days if you order to expedite it. Now, when you go on the and that shipping policy at the bottom of the website on a completely different page, it says that. But honey, when you go to the checkout, it doesn't say that at all. You can't sit there and tell me, oh, pay $13 for your package to get here in three to four days with no asterisk, no nothing. It don't say no asterisk that says read the fine print or you know what I'm saying, anything like that. It just says it blatantly right here. You see it? Right here. So I'm like, stop missing. And they literally had a nerve to hit me with the, uh, well, I understand. Basically, yeah, we messed up, but too bad. And then they ended, when I said they left the chat immediately, that's what made me feel like it's not automated. I said somebody back there hitting some buttons or putting together some automated responses because, girl, they got out of that chat quick. But, you know, I left it for what it was. I took the L. It was just the principle of the thing. It wasn't a lot more money than regular shipping, but it's the principle. It's the problem, and this is the principle. The problem, very small. Do I have, am I in a rush to go anywhere? No, but at the same time, I paid for that expedited shipping so it should have been expedited. But anyway, I'm so sorry that I just ranked it off for four minutes. I just had to tell y'all that experience. Cause it is a review, so I'm giving y'all an overall review from customer service standpoint to everything. So let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna pull up the items that I ordered. My total of my order came up to $273. Shipping and handling was $13. And then I got an extra 10% off, so they took off set $27. So in the end, it all came up to $258.70. And I got a, de a decent amount of clothes, so. This is the packaging that comes in. Okay, so the first item that I'm going to try on, I'm gonna put a picture of it on the side of the screen. I got it for $19. It is a tall, they have a tall collection. We gonna see, this, we gonna see how good that tall collection is, so I, cause I ordered some stuff from the tall collection. Um, sis in the picture is killing it. 
killing it, killing it, killing it. So, <clears throat> sis in the hoodie, styling, profiling, killing it, period. She in there like. <laughs> but for me, so I have this boob part, right? I don't have no titties. So, so let me back y'all up. Back up. Back up. All right, this will do. Can you hear me? If you wanna know where my fit is from now, this is a white t-shirt and some Walmart um, boys husky uh, shorts. Get into it, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go try it on. Let me pull up this picture of this girl real quick. Okay, so this is from their tall, <laughs> this is from their tall collection. And I don't know about y'all, what size did I get this in? I got this in a US size six, right? But why don't the, the sleeves fit? Okay, regardless of if the sleeves fit or not, I feel like it's still cute. Like, it could still be rocks. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I could still rock it. No? Yay? Nay? But honestly, I have no other words other than I'm irritated because I bought this from the tall section because I'm like, honey, if you get it from the tall section, your arms, they're gonna fit in the, <clears throat> they don't. The top is a good quality top, it feels thick or whatever, but if you got longer arms, forget about it. <laughs> for, forget forget about it, like. Hold on, let me try to pose like the girl in the picture pose. One foot up. Wow. Yeah, that was getting on my nerves. No? This, does this not do it? It's dark. Yeah, so this is gonna have to be a keep. I'm gonna keep it. We gonna sit. Oh, I almost got naked on camera. Oh, wait. So the next thing I'm gonna try out is, um, there are these tall, emphasis on tall, so these should be long. They should be long enough to fit my legs. These are tall lilac detailed straight, straight, straight leg pants. Um, I got them in a size eight US because that's what they said online. I, I swear the size guy and that's the size I am because you know I'm big. I'm, like my butt is so big. Like, look at that. Look at this butt. Look at it, girl. Look at it. I'm gonna go put the pants on. We're back and we're better. Okay, so first things first, the pants are wrinkled. So they came pretty wrinkled. The fabric is kind of cheap feeling, um, but these is long. Unfortunately, they fit kind of, my butt look big. Hold on, let me show y'all what I see. Yup, yeah, they come, like I'm stepping on the bottom of the, shoe, the pants right now. Um, I'm trying to get a feel for them, even though I can't see, like I, I, I don't, they're wrinkly. So yeah, I, I feel like I should wear them higher. Not with this sweatshirt circle, because I look like a boxy. It's just this, like my waist don't really fit this part. So I've never had pants that fit like this though, like that are this long. So I guess as I put on more weight, I'll grow into it. But I feel like if I grow into it anymore here, then my butt will it's gonna pop out. It's gonna pop out. I'm gonna I'm pick y'all back up. This is a lot of work. A lot, a lot of work. I gotta iron them and I gotta grow into them a little bit more, I guess. They make me look short. Like I'm looking at myself in the mirror, I look tiny. I gotta get out of this shirt, so let me find another shirt to put on. So I have this plain white shirt, it was $9. I feel like this plain white shirt should have been a little more cheap if we're, if we're being, being honest, but I'm gonna try it on anyway. Oh my I could have made this from a wife beater from the corner store, but we're not gonna talk about that. What we are gonna talk about is, it's very thin in fabric. Um, I feel like this might look better on somebody with like titty titties. It's not a bad shirt, like I'm not gonna get rid of it cause you can wear it with anything, but I just feel like it's giving me DIY vibe. I guess that's what it looked like. With, like, sis in the picture, she looked like that, but she kind of making it look cool. Like, she like. <laughs> underwhelming. I'm gonna move on. There's not anything else for me to say about this, but it was $9, so I guess. Maybe. 
Okay, so the next thing I have is this tall beige, tall beige soft button check. Oh, it's called a check. <laughs> it looks different in here than what it looks like on sis. It was $26. It looks a little more expensive on, I'll show y'all. Okay, note to all my tall sisses. The tall section is, okay, no, never mind. Now I look at it. This fits my arms. It stops at the bottom. This jacket, this jacket, just look different on sis in the picture, like. This jacket is cute. And it's long enough. Tall section, holla at your girl. But at the same time, I don't know what it's giving on camera. I like it. Don't get me wrong. I don't know what it's giving on camera, but what it gives in this model's photo versus what it gives on in real life, it gives me a, it's a little more cheap than I thought it would look. A little more cheap. It's, don't get me wrong, it's cute. Like, it was on sale for $26. So keep that in mind. So what is niggas really paying for, you know? But it's not bad looking. It's boutique chic, like I feel it. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, I like it. For real. I love it. I love it. I freaking love it. I might even wear this. Like, this might even be like a chill fit. Like, like yes, girl, I'm just going to the store. The makeup, girl, no, this is like, this is not even trying. Like, I didn't even spend three hours on my makeup. Like, what are you talking about? I'm just going to the grocery store real quick, you know? This is something I'm excited for. Jeez. This was a big thing because I don't buy jeans offline because my legs are long. I don't know how many times I have to say that. My legs are long and it's hard to find jeans that ain't are long enough. It's hard to find jeans that fit properly, but we took a chance today. I took a chance for y'all. High waisted mom jeans in a size eight because that's the size of the other pants were. They were $26 and these are also tall. They have this rip in them right there, a rippity rip. So we gonna go try them on. Wish me luck, bitch. I am, I'm happy with this purchase. I need a belt for sure. Like I really like these jeans. Okay, I know I was joking earlier about like a chill outfit, but girl, this is like a, like really a, like this is the real chill outfit. Like um, my butt, this is how I fit my butt. Another thing, some mom jeans, when you get them, they fit like this, like, okay, not like that. But they fit like, it make your butt do like that. And these don't. So kudos to you, misguided. When I put on a little bit more weight, I feel like they might fit me. See, the problem is I keep I'm gaining weight the right way, so which I'm losing it right here and I'm gaining it right here. We're gonna see what happens as I continue with my weight gain journey. Y'all get into it. Y'all, y'all get into it. Y'all get into it. Y'all, y'all get into it. What y'all? Oh, why did I not just show y'all it without the jacket? You know, I question myself sometimes. When that weight is put on, however it gets put on. So it's supposed to sit up like so. And it's supposed to fill in right here. So it's gonna fill in when it's time to fill in. I can't dance. Okay, so the next item I have is this dress. A blue misguided corset waist dress. So it's supposed to fit me like a corset right here, but it's kind of loosey goosey at the, uh, not loosey goosey, I don't know what I'm saying. But anyway, it was $17, so I was like, honey, $17, gimme, gimme. Um, okay, let's just get into this. So this wasn't from the tall section, and I can tell the difference. So this is the detail on the stomach part. Focus. I don't like how it, hold on. I don't know if I like how that sit right there. It feels bunched. I don't hate the dress. Maybe if I was like more shapely, I don't really know what I want out of this dress, you know? The material is like t-shirt. Like you can't twerk if you're tall because it's gonna ride up. If anybody like it, I might resell it to y'all or something, but. My butt look nice. I thought it would be like a thicker material. Like the material is really like, it's like a, 
a, a white tee thing. I got it in a size four, I should have got it in a size six. So that's a problem too. So don't even quote me on everything I just said. Just scratch all that, you know? Experiment for yourself. And it's not tall, so. I'm gonna move on to the next item. I got me a turtleneck um, sweatshirt. What season am I shopping for? I guess fall, maybe? I didn't really get like summery clothes. I guess this may be, I don't know. Ooh, this was like a plush blanket. I love it. This from the tall section. And look at these sleeves. They just look like they finna be long. Yes, I'm excited, I'm gonna put it on. So this is the sweatshirt. It's kinda like, pieces are coming off. So, that's that. So I feel like once you wash it, oh my gosh, like it's coming apart. How much was this? 17, oh my God, okay. So one thing to note, sis, it's falling apart. The pieces, are, they're coming off. They're coming off. Oh wow, like it's really shedding. It's shed. it's cute, I like it. This was, okay, you can tell it was kind of, it was very cheaply made. I can tell because I can feel it in the sweatshirt. But it's long for my arms. For $17 and it's long. It's hot. Oh, that's damn boy. It's hot. I'm wrapping it like they took the teddy bear skin and they stuffed the teddy bear with meat. That just, that, was, that didn't come out how I wanted it. Like you can tell they just took some fabric and they cut that bit. They did not sew it to secure the fabric or nothing. Like, wait, you ready? Ooh, um, yeah. And no, I have a problem because I could not wear this shirt and not want to pick at it. So this is a tall lime blazer dress. I'm excited. It is a size six and it is $38. It's wrinkled. It says the garment can't be returned if this ribbon is removed. Yeah, you can't be returned if the ribbon is removed. Shut up. We're just gonna try it on. It's really wrinkled, but we're gonna try it on. Um, okay, I'm uncomfortable because I can't remove this if I wanna return it, so I'm not removing. Like a, like I'm about to go uh, flash somebody, like ah! All the kids gonna scream because it's, it's titties and it's vagina. Like, I don't really like this, like I thought I would. Yep, still don't know. Still not too sure about this one. Um, I wish it was, I don't know what I would change about it. I feel like maybe I would make it like diagonal or something. And these buttons are mad flimsy. Like if I pull this too hard, girl, the button is gone. It is gone. Like, <laughs> see I gotta unrip this real fast for some reason, it's gone. The next item I have here is um, a Playboy Stone Magazine hoodie dress. This one was $36, AKA overpriced. Unless it's the material hoodie and then otherwise, yeah, so as you can see, sis in this picture is styling, profiling, showing you what you need to be shown. So I'm gonna go put it on. So this is the hoodie dress. I like it. This is actually a quality hoodie, like it's thick. And then the Playboy part is like sewn in there. It's not like slept on there. But this is the back. Oh my gosh, my butt cheeks about to be out. Don't demonetize me. This is the back. This feel, I'm so happy because I always wanted a hoodie dress and hoodie dresses don't be long enough and this is kinda long, you know? I don't think I could twerk or nothing or bend over a little too far, but who's doing all that? Not me. So it works. These, these glasses made me like such a teacher. You ready kids? Time to learn something. Oh wait, I'm stupid. Good luck. This is really cute, girl. It's cute, it's cute. Pair it with like a bag and you know, some jewelry and stuff, and you look like a Kardashian trying to act like they're not ready for pap paparazzi pictures. Oh, this is just my everyday look. Like, stop. They caught me so off guard. Oh my gosh, I'm just trying to get in my car. Why are you snapping pictures? Pictures, like, oh my god. Stop, I'm with my kids. Come on, don't get faint in the picture. Warrior on the back. Yeah. Dang, it feels good to be a gangster. Ah, this is so cozy, I don't wanna leave it. But I only have a few more items, so we are gonna move on to them. So I bought these shoes. Oh my God, these is cute. Everything look big in my size, cause they're size 10, baby. They give me like, baby lock the door and turn them lights down low. I love these. Oh, I'm so glad I bought them. Oh, Taylor, you and those long feet. So, let me give y'all a, view on the floor of them. All right, so, excuse the mess on the floor, but I just wanna show the shoes. These the shoes. I, I, 
I can't really get another angle of the shoes, but these are the shoes. So I'm gonna go to the last one. The last item that I have is, this is another Playboy item and let's just do it. It was, I'm paying $20. I shouldn't have paid $20 for a fucking t-shirt, but we still gonna try it on. That's fantastic. So this is the Playboy t-shirt. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you why it's not $20 cute. Come here. It's not $20 cute because I can really see through it. Like I can see through it, see through it. This is not like, look, I got on that little shirt from earlier. I feel like if I'm paying you $20, this better be good, like not thick. I don't wanna be hot, but good, decent quality material. Like this is really thin. So $20 is just bull crap, just bull crap. But it's a, I'm not gonna return it because I like the shirt. It's supposed to be like, Boyfriend type fit, baggy, oversized, you know, just that kind of vibe. Like some of this stuff is definitely going back. So long, farewell to you, my friend. Goodbye for now until we meet again. It's been great. I hope people got that reference. We're done. This is a clothing haul. I think we're done. I didn't get nothing else, did I? Um, just keep in mind, maybe lying about their shipping times because three to four business days, I actually got them in six, five, six. So whatever, according to them, my shipping policy is at the bottom of my, of this door, you just gotta look at it. Well, don't tell me at checkout that I'm paying for three to four days. Sorry, I got mad all over again. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if y'all wanna see another clothing haul. Comment some brands below.